Okay, welcome back. Let's look at turning our simple duvet here into something a little more interesting. So to start with, I'm simply going to move the front sheet into the center of the grid here. I'm just going to do it by eye. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just going to help me line up the little um, pleats we're going to put in to create this kind of pattern. Okay, and sorry, marvelous designer. All right, so once that's done, I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to zoom in, and you know we can tell this is the top sheet because when we select it, the top cotton material will be selected. If we select the bottom one, bottom cotton. Um, so let's just make sure that's about centered, and that'll be about right. And then we want to take in this create internal rectangle, okay? And we want to just make a small internal rectangle, so about that big. Okay, that should do it, and then I'm going to use the transform here to spin it round until it's a diamond, like so. And if I look on the viewport with this selected, I can't actually see it at the moment because it's underneath here, but if I synchronize that across first of all, and then move this, you should see I can see where it is on the bed. So I want my internal rectangles to start around here just where the um, the sheet before it starts to fold over and I'm going to come up and move the first one to around here okay now I'm going to come in and I'm going to control C and control V for paste and if I hold down shift they'll all go on the same line so let's put one here and control V again and one here and control V and just try and space these out you know so they're somewhere in the ballpark there we go that should be about right let's look at where this last one ended up okay the viewport's not responding I'll have to simulate a few frames but that seems about right to me okay let's grab all of them and now control C and control V what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a 5x5 five five grid so last one's here and then these ones just offset ever so slightly and once again offset ever so slightly okay and these ones are now surplus to requirements so I've got this sort of 5x5 five five grid and as you can see my viewports become a bit corrupted so I can actually simulate now and this should just go back to normal give it a few seconds Marvelous Designer does this sometimes when you put these internal fold marks on, but generally you can just simulate it out. And come on. All right, so this one does not appear to be happy at all. So I'm just going to grab this sheet and lift it up a little bit. Actually, let's grab both of these. And as I said before, just lift them up a little bit and then I'll hit simulate again and they'll fall down and hopefully become corrected. There we go. And you can see that all folding back in nicely now. So sometimes that, that can happen. Um, you just get a little bit of corruption when you start putting these internal lines in. So you can just fix that back up again with some small tweaks and a little bit of re-simulation. Okay, just letting this edge settle down now. All right, and the reason we created these um, seams here is so we can make them elasticated, which will bunch up all the fabric around them and give us that nice diamond pattern. I'm just waiting for this one to settle down. Okay, and that seems to settle down enough. So I'm just going to stop the simulation, take a look around, make sure there's no large errors. You know, you might want to let it simulate out a bit more on yours just to make sure it's all hunky-dory, but that's fine for me. We're also going to change the particle distance as well, which will even out the simulation even more. But for right now, let's go into the Scene tab and let's select all these 2D shape nodes. Now let's just start by turn the elastic on, we'll leave the ratio at 80 and the strength at 1 and we'll hit render and you should start to see some diamond patterns form. Okay, so we can just about start to see that now. 
and again you're going to have to wait a second for the simulation now depending on how uh, you know much you want this diamond pattern effect is how high you're going to have to set the ratio here so let's set this to 60 and for this because you know it's going to do a lot of scrunching up here let's give it uh, some more particles to work with so let's make the particle distance smaller and hit render and again a smaller particle distance is going to take quite a bit longer to simulate in like I say I rarely go below 15 um, I, as I said before I think it will go to 5 or maybe even 3 but at that sort of level the simulation takes a very long time and the poly count is extremely high let's just stop the simulation here and see how we're looking now we've got a very nice diamond pattern going on here already um, you know we've got this scrunched up cloth in the middle which we'll need smoothed out in Maya which we'll take a look at but for me that's looking pretty good maybe the duvet could be a little bit more um, puffed up so let's select both of these and change the pressure from 4 to say 5 okay and just let that simulate so these internal lines that you can create you know could have been used to do more traditional straight down lines the sort of a you know the, the folded pattern of a standard duvet we could have created we could have created pretty much any pattern imaginable with these lines here okay another thing that I wanted to do and I can see this duvet it's starting to puff up a little bit you can see here the back is kind of coming in I'll um, pause and let it simulate out in a second so just one other thing I wanted to talk about these internal lines here will also have folds in them so we don't really need fold rendering um, so I'm going to turn it off all of these so select all of these and fold rendering off okay and I might even reduce that ratio to say 45 and make these a bit tighter we'll just see how that looks there we go they got a little bit tighter okay you don't want to get them too much or the duvet is going to obviously pull itself way out of shape so again it's just going to be a case of best judgment used um, and depending on the look you're going for of course and you can see at this particle distance of 20 that my viewport slowed right down now okay so I'm going to pause the video here and I'll just probably let this simulate for a minute or two until it starts to really settle down and smooth out a bit um, I wouldn't really need to give it more than a minute um, and again you might want to increase the or decrease the ratio of this elasticity so these pull closer together which I think I will do I might go as low as 30 um, but I doubt I'd push it further than that so I'm going to simulate this out now and pause and I'll see you in a second okay welcome back uh, now I actually went to particle distance of 15 which means that my simulation took a bit longer but I probably left this for about three or four minutes only and you know it's created a nice shape pretty much uh, spot on to our reference so now I want to get this back into Maya so just as we did before export OBJ and uh, I'll just save it over the last one so centimeters of course and just bring it back into Maya and we're gonna to have to do a little bit of work on this but that's okay and you'll see the geometry on this is now really quite high but we can reduce that later um, something like Z remesher is is fantastic for that kind of thing and now what I've got here perhaps if I click off is these little nubs that are sticking up that I really don't want um, I don't think they look well on the render and I'm going to get rid of these hideous materials so if I just go into window render and edit a hypershade and I'll just clean up some of these unused materials I'm no longer using and you've got here um, marvelous designer material so I can just um, select objects with material and assign a new material to that so assign material um, let's just go with Lambert 1 for that 
Okay, and let's create another Lambert here. And let's grab this back uh, material from Marvelous Designer. So let's go select objects with material and assign Lambert 2 to that. Okay, I just want that hideous sort of glowing material that Marvelous Designer produces out of my viewport for now. All right, now as you can see, we've got these nubs that stick up here. If I can just grab some faces that make one up like so, then I can focus the camera on it. And you can see here, it's a nice, nasty, sticky up bit. So what we'll have to do is use the Sculpt um, Geometry tool and just smooth that back down again. So let's just check the tool settings here. And we want to be on push in maybe. Okay, uh, smooth. Actually, because this is not going to work, because I had it on face selection, so make sure you're on object selection, and then mesh sculpt geometry tool, and push it in a little bit. Maybe smoothing it down is the way to go here, actually. Let's just smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Okay, so we just want to smooth it out so it's not kind of sticking up at us in the render. Now, if you wanted to get, you know, kind of really posh here, you can smooth that out like so. Then we'll create a polygon object here. So let's go find that. A polysphere. There we are. Okay. And I'm just going to create a sort of flat button. Like you see on cloth sometimes when they button it together. So that's probably going to have to be a little bigger as well. Although we can scale this up when we get it back onto the bed. Okay, and let's move that in line with the smoothed patch that we just made. So kind of here, I believe. Okay, and I'll focus in on that so we can get the size right. And we'll just get a standard size for these buttons. So let's get this one here. It won't matter if it bisects a little bit. And we'll add, you know, a different material to these just so we can see them. So assign new material. Let's just add a Lambert. And let's make that Lambert sort of a brilliant white color. Okay, so now you've got, you know, this kind of funky um, pattern with a fabric with a button in there that holds it all together. So now you just need to do the rest, which is a bit of a pain, but the effect is, is really nice, I think. So, you know, as I said, you could have used these uh, internal polygonal lines in Marvelous Designer to create a much simpler pattern, but this one I think is kind of nice. So let's just go mesh um, sculpt geometry tool and let's get in here and flatten a few of these out. Okay, it can take a little bit of time. Uh, we need to get this sharp edge here that's sticking all the way out. Okay, and we just want to sort of flatten it down enough so we can get that button in there. Okay, so let's grab our button, Control D to duplicate, and let's move this into place. There we go. All right, so now you've got these kind of buttons in your duvet, which is kind of nice, I think. All right, and I'm going to now pause and just do the rest of these. There's actually not that many of them. It's quite quick going. Um, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll talk about pillows and cushions and things like that. So, you know, you can also, as I'll just do this on camera quickly before I go, you can also use the Super Smooth on this which will help smooth this out a little bit. So I just click this to one iteration. Okay, maybe two. And again, that will come to personal preference, but on two, that's really nice and smooth. Quite like that. Then I can come in and just readjust my buttons, you know, maybe give them a little rotation just to give them a little look like they're actually on top of the fabric. So each button I'd come in and just, you know, give it a tweak. And you'll end up with a very nice effect for your duvet. You know, and you can obviously decide on the size and whatnot.
a little big maybe these ones all right so i'm gonna finish off my duvet just with a placement of these little chaps i'd also probably take the normals on these and smooth them out so normals um, soften edge so i get a really nice soft edge on those which will help a little bit with the render and as i said i'll see you in the next part when we'll come back and make a start on the pillows okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next part